Hey there friends, what is crack a My name is Rabbit and welcome to episode number 21 of Let's Semi-Blindly Play Through Eternal Eyes for the PlayStation 1. In our previous episode together, we continue to make our way through the Misty Forest, formerly known as the Lost Forest. We're still not entirely certain what is going on here and why the forest made the transformation that it has, but if you do recall, we are here with the intentions of speaking with some fairy whom I believe is called Nas. Don't hold me to that. I think that's the name of the fairy. But we're here in hopes of this fairy being able to restore life into Elena who took the blade for Luke. So let us just dive right in. There's really not a whole lot to share with you guys. We haven't had any of our puppets transform in eons, it feels like. So I'm mostly just kind of ranting and rambling as we comb our way through the shrouded path that we're walking on right now, but ooh -hoo -hoo. I'm already seeing some new faces, which is a great way to spice things up. We've sort of been inundated with a lot of palette swapped critters lately, so it's refreshing to see something new. This looks like a Raichu wannabe. Its name is Riverhood. We've never seen this model before, I'm fairly certain, so let's see what it's got in terms of spells. Lavi, not new. Shan is also not new. We have both of these. I don't think either of those really are too concerning for our team. So moving right along, we have a palette swapped version of, I think it was called a Mantis actually. We saw these when we initially were in the Lost Woods. So way back before it turned into this. And as we can see, its name is Mantel. Maybe it's supposed to be more Mantillo, but I like to give it a little bit of flair. And he's got Kamal, something also not new. We have it, I think, on Abby. And then this is another new critter. It's so cute. Its name is Kimo Kimo. It looks adorable. I kind of want it. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what makes that. It's got many, which we've seen before. That is another version of the HP restorative spell. And Gravito, which we are pretty well versed in, and I think that's it. We've just got multiples of everything, it seems like. So, what do you guys say? We just dive right in. Hopefully, we will just blast on through this. And oh, one thing, because I'm not super close to anyone. I can't believe I forgot to show you guys this. Like, what? We're on the third episode of this recording session. I had a few people back when I recorded our first batch of 18 episodes tell me that Luke actually can execute magical abilities or some sort of spell system, I guess, he has the potential to tap into based on orbs or extra jewels that you have. And I guess you can either activate them or you can throw them at enemy puppets and something does happen. So I did want to acknowledge, I'm sure someone's gonna point it out in 19 or maybe 20, or maybe you didn't. Maybe you guys are gonna throw me a bone here and give me a bit of time to get my shit together. But I am aware, thanks for the pro tip everyone, I will try to remember to to make use of that once I'm in the position to do so. What I'm kind of thinking about doing, and I actually almost did it now, before bringing you guys back for episode 21, was I was entertaining the idea of running back through the previous forest we've already seen together on camera, just to amass a couple more orbs, and then potentially from there, have some combinations to kind of experiment with. So I was thinking about saving on my own and just playing with things for like 10 or 15 minutes and seeing what I come up with. Obviously, I did not do that, but it was on my mind. So I might end up, I might end up fulfilling that after this fight. We'll just see, we'll just see. I certainly do want to make sure that I'm spending a little bit of time, not necessarily grinding for the XP gain or, you know, for the level gains as a result of XP gain, but I do want to make sure that I have a good set of orbs so that I can try to tinker a little bit with the puppets I have that are a little bit behind. Not that I think it's going to make a monumental difference, but I think just to add more variety to my team, I would suspect you guys are probably sick of everyone looking the same, but hey, maybe you find the forms of our our three friends as endearing as I do, I'm not too sure. But I think it's not gonna hurt for me to set aside like the 20 minutes to run back through the other fights. They're pretty easy to get through, especially if I'm not <laughs> commentating over it and talking about random bullshit. It's pretty much just a mindless fly through and like eight to 10 minutes max, and yeah, doing that for two, maybe three fights, easy peasy, plus another 
like 10 minutes, I guess, of me just tinkering with things and trying to save and write down what combos work. So yeah, I would spend less than an hour in total messing with that. So just, just throwing it out there that it is on my mind. I might be, might be doing that. So prepare for a recap possibly at the start of episode 22, where I might be sharing with you guys all of those sorts of changes that do take place without you. But with that being said, we're now in the heart of a new battle. And just to pick up where I would left off previously, I divulged to you guys that I am well aware that quite a few of you do want me to, hold on y'all, let me, does Shan, I think this spills over, oh my gosh, that's lame, do you guys see this? That the way they're positioned, I can't, like if one was standing right here, I could hit everyone, but as it stands, oh my gosh, that is some calculated bullshit from the enemies. From the enemy side, that annoys me. Let's let's just say that. But it's fine. We'll, you know, we'll just focus down one person and keep on keeping on. So I was sharing with you guys that I'm aware that quite a few of you want me to continue playing working designs titles, and I also divulge, it's not really a secret. I'm sure I said this at some point throughout all of the videos that I've gotten on this channel, which, by the way, is anyone else's mind blown that we're at like I think I have almost 1,400 videos right now, which isn't even scratching the surface, honestly, of everything that I've done because, as you guys may or may not recall, especially if you're newer viewers, I had, okay, hold on, hold on. I wanna make sure I'm hitting as many people as possible, so if I put it on this Mondeo, it should spill over and hit all of those folks. What is that, four of them? Woohoo! That was good positioning. Beautiful, ooh, and that's a lot of damage. But only six H or XP? That's crazy. Oh my goodness, I don't think so. All right, once again, you guys already know, just to try to remove the incentive for them to focus on my chest, let's throw Haresh in here. And even though Temp is not a big baller spell, it's still AOE, so we're gonna go ahead and go with that. But okay, back to me. So, Working designs is amazing, and oh, I was starting to say before I guess I say that, y'all already know, it's it's all over the place with me over here. But, okay, so what I was most recently saying was 1,400-ish videos is not even scratching the surface because I redid the first four series on the channel, and then I just removed those videos, like I didn't keep them here. They are, I believe I have them archived somewhere. Maybe I don't, which is fine, because they were so, they were so ghetto. If you guys think I'm a hot mess now, <laughs> you should have seen my series from 2010. Yes, honey, we go way back. <laughs> but I had played four games and just due to the limitations from YouTube at the time, you know what, whatever, Luke, we'll just keep you there. Uh, the limitations imposed upon us at the time, like, oh my gosh, content creation was so different in 2010 compared to even what it was, I think, in 2014, which, you know, I, again, I'm not like reminiscing about the good old days or anything. I think there was a lot of trash that was out there just because it was, you know, easy and YouTube wasn't really policed that much. But I guess some people might argue now that there's a lot of drama all the time and low effort content, but I, you know, whatever. I don't have a horse in that race or a strong stance in that argument, so that is what it is. But all I'm saying is I had a lot of videos that were replaced, and since, oh yeah, I forgot, Nebulas goes in that straight line. Whatever, we'll just, we'll use Mets just for the lulls, but videos had like a 10 minute limit or maybe it was like nine minutes and 50 or eight minutes and 59 seconds nine minutes and 59 seconds i think it was 10 minutes that you could do maybe there was like a little bit of grace time so maybe you could go over or under a little bit i don't wholly remember how that worked but i do remember that videos always were around 10 minutes because youtube wasn't fucking around and and they were not letting you upload like fucking hour long nursery rhyme videos with 20 million ads just thrown into the mix like that was not a thing <laughs> which you know probably for a good reason it shouldn't be a thing now and yet it is for whatever reason oh my god that thing just healed itself but hey at least we saw medi i believe is what he's got and we've got amity somewhere so okay that's pretty cool to see i don't think i've used the heal spell although we have used we use the mana restoring one, I believe. 
I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach him. We'll try, we'll try. You miss all the shots you don't take, y'all. And no, we cannot reach him with all these fucking chests everywhere. So that's a little lame, but it's okay because Abby is a beast. And I'm going to, you know what? Why don't we just increase, or increase? We don't want to increase his defense. We want to try decreasing the defense. And then we're going to have Harash follow up with some big damage. And we'll see what, and I missed. Okay, so that was a total waste of Abilash's turn. Not cool, monster, not cool. But whatever, I guess it gives me more time to just <laughs> talk about my bullshit. So the point of, I guess, what I'm saying is that even though 14-ish hundred ep episodes of stuff or videos are on the channel right now, I would say if I hadn't deleted all of those older, like 2010, 2011 videos, I think the oldest that my content now dates back to is 2013 because I did take that two year hiatus when I was in graduate school. I just, oh my God, you guys, I had no time. Why did I stop Luke here? Was this as far as I could go? I don't even know what I'm doing right now, you guys. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the music and thinking about, oh, you know, the past. It's always good to reminisce, am I right? Okay, I want to see, can I kill him this time? Because you're getting on my nerves, Kimo Kimo. I'm not feeling your bullshit. But I did take that two year hiatus for graduate school because, oh my God, as busy as I am now, like graduate school was nuts because I was working full time teaching as well as doing research, you know, for my thesis and I had to take um, an examination to complete my specific degree. It was just, whoo, it was a wild ride, but it was a good one. Like, I actually liked grad school, whereas I know some people absolutely hate it. Now, maybe my mind will change when I, slash if I continue for a PhD, I'm not sure, or secondary masters. I've been thinking lately about pursuing the route for becoming a licensed clinical social worker. I've been enjoying some of the work lately that I've been doing that involves more mental health related, I guess, programming. And while I have experience doing a lot of social work type tasks, I don't have any any authority when it comes to like mental health diagnoses or treatment, whereas I can do general counseling, I guess. And a false mustache, what the fuck are some of these items? As well as I have experience doing minor, I, I guess, I guess you could say it's like very loose. I wouldn't even call it therapy. I guess just leaving it as open counseling when it comes to like health and wellness practicing. I have experience doing that. So mostly I guess like nutrition counseling and helping people decipher um, medical records and medical diagnoses and things like that. But I can't, mental health is like off limits, whereas I can provide some sort of consultative treatments and consultative services for physical well-being. I cannot for mental well-being. So I don't know if that's something I will end up doing or if it's just, I don't know. I'm wanting to start having kids too. So who knows? Is there time for all this bullshit? I'm not really sure you guys. I just, I really feel like I'm one of those people that would have benefited from, hold on y'all, before I go on to that tangent. Uh, a charming mustache brings happy feelings. <laughs> oh, Okay, well, there are a lot of other things that bring happy feelings and happy endings at that. Uh, I don't want to remove his Warhammer. Let's just see <laughs> what the false mustache does. I, I don't, it brings up magic defense and then luck quite a lot. Holy guacamole. But I don't think that's good for her rash. Let's see, maybe Raj might, might find this to be valuable. So we've got the Sash of Strength right now. His HP is going to drop, hold on. Let me take the Sash of Strength off. Oh good, they're right beside each other so we can kind of do a direct comparison. Oh my gosh, that removes a lot of HP. But, my goodness, this is so much luck. And again, I am not 100% sure and I would not die on a hill for this statement, but I believe luck influences the value of treasures that you get once you open the chest following the conclusion of combat. But I suppose the question is, let's just assume that is a factual statement. How much do you value the item drops versus the extra padding you get from HP? I don't think we've had pu our puppets come too close to their demise, have we? I'm pretty sure we haven't had anyone die yet. So it's probably safe to assume that this is okay to do. 
And maybe what I can look at here, oh God, the wrestlers, the wrestler pants I think are pretty decent themselves. So brings up defense, a decent little chunk there, 15 points and then 10 points to HR. So how important is it, I guess, to have that defense in HR versus maybe coming back and having the magic defense, I guess is what MD is, and I still don't know what AV is. Or we could do, oh my gosh, but again, I guess you could like double down on false mustaches. So he's got a mustache and then puts a mustache on his mustache. Yo dog. Like, I don't know if this is a little ridiculous uh, for me to pursue this. Maybe I'll keep the sash of strength after all and will instead remove oh oops i didn't need to do that uh, what did he have wrestler pants i think it's okay to lose the physical defense if i'm just mindful of not throwing him right into the middle of everyone's bullshit, which typically i don't do anyway Haresh is really the one that kind of gets in and starts slapping people with his wings furiously as well as luke you know getting in into the mix there you guys i feel feisty and i sort of want to apply the false mustache again but I think that's a little ham and ridiculous, isn't it? Whatever, we're doing it. So Raj now has two mustaches and I'm not mad about it. So it is what it is. I don't think we, did we get any jewels? I, I don't, can we even, where would we see that other than just clicking on the jewels? I don't think they have a menu for us to just kind of, oh, we did get a few, but you know what? I think I am going to do what I was sharing with you guys. I know, I didn't tell you any stories as I was so busy. I was like talking about how I took a two year hiatus for graduate school and then it turned into, oh, maybe I wanna continue along the path I'm on right now and get my PhD in a few years after babies or maybe pursue another master's and become a licensed clinical social worker. But before all of that, I was sharing with you guys more about working designs, which lasted like all of one minute. Okay, <laughs> I need to get my shit together and stop telling 10 stories at once. But I'm gonna hold on to these orbs and what I will do, my lovelies, is go back through, maybe not all of them, I don't know if I wanna sit here for an hour fucking around with this, but I might go back through, let me see where we're at. Ooh, the nether regions. I'm, I think I'm gonna go back maybe to, I'll redo maybe number one and number two, as opposed to doing everything up until right where we're leaving off. We'll see, it depends on how quickly I guess I can get through any of the previous sections of the forest. We'll just see. You guys already know, I bring you back up to full speed once we are back and ready to keep on progressing. So when I see you guys in episode number 22, I will share with you everything that takes place without you. And maybe I will have figured out a nice little recipe to spruce up either Raj or Haresh, because I think those are the two that really need it right now. Abby's on, I think like his fourth form. I can't 100% recall, but he is far more advanced than the other two, which is a shame that they are so far behind. And you can really tell by looking at the level of their spells. Hold on, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So this will show you in the description that it does a small amount of damage. And that's consistently what I have for most of Raj's spells as well as Haresh's. I think maybe one or the other has like one medium grade, whereas Abi has a lot of more potent and more advanced spells. And again, I acknowledge that this isn't important, hence why I don't think I wanna invest an hour into doing this. But just to give you guys kind of my perspective on it. I don't want there to be a point where this bites me in the ass because I don't prepare at all. While I don't think it's necessary to really go whole hog here and try to make everybody OP as fuck, I don't know if it'll be to my detriment later on for me to just kind of be like, eh, whatever, and throw caution to the wind, if that makes sense. So anyway, that's it for me, my darlings. I will see you in just a moment in episode number 22, and we will be ready to move onward into the nether regions. But for, wait, the nether regions? That is a, whoa, hard pause on that. That's a little... That's a little nasty. These, these people knew what they were doing when they translated this and wrote that. Nasty, nasty, nasty. <laughs> anyway, you guys, my name is Rabbit. This is my semi-blind run of Eternal Eyes for the PlayStation 1. And I, your host Rabbit, I'm so happy to have you guys along for the ride. So take care, be good, and I will be right back. <laughs> 